Rail campaigners are disappointed. The third stage of the project didn't start in March as promised. What has been a sensational idea uh, has been come a debacle and a catastrophe. It follows fiery scenes in Parliament yesterday when Murray Plains MP Peter Walsh questioned the Transport Minister about the delay. As part of the Murray Basin Rail Freight Project, because ever... Because since this project was first commenced, and of course this was a project that we needed to get fully funded. Ms Allen says delays are due to works on the Ballarat passenger rail line, which will affect the basin rail plan. With the next phase of the construction of the project, we want to make sure that it's done in alignment with what industry needs to get their products to market quickly. Mr Walsh says businesses in Menangatang and Sea Lake have been left in the lurch. She's saying it needs to be rescoped. Uh, to my mind, that's code for we're running out of money, we've, uh, we're over budget and we're over time and somehow we've got to try and save this project. The Transport Minister is remaining tightly at Dover when any construction will start. The Rail Revival Alliance says it shows a lack of consideration for the residents around Menangatang and Sea Lake. We'll be finalising the timeframes in consultation with the industry and the primary producers that we're talking to. Sarah Lawrence, Nine News.